no, I, my, my career was amazing. Um, I can't complain about not one moment of it. I enjoyed every second of it. Um, I only wish it were longer. <laughs> uh, I just, well, obviously my family, big volleyball family. Um, as you know, my dad, uh, Hall of Famer. My step grandfather is a Hall of Famer. Um, and lucky me, I'm in there now. Um, I discovered it uh, through them, um, but didn't have a passion for it uh, until I was about late 17s, uh, playing for the Alberger Canoe Club. Um, we went to a JOs tournament. It was just hitting lines, um, and during that time, it was the moment that triggered for me that this is what I want to do. This is something that I think I want to pursue. So yeah, it's for me, a good moment, a goosebumps moment. Yeah. <laughs> College was was a growing a growing point for me. You know, um, you know, awesome fun as college should be. Um, and, and some growing up lessons, you know, that I needed to figure out. Um, I ended up joining the 99 Pan American team and World University team and, and really excelling and getting better and improving in the sport. And then going back to the university after that, 99-2000, I felt myself kind of the level drop. And so college was a good stepping stone. Uh, leading me to my future in professional volleyball and joining the national team. Yeah. Well, that's got to be winning, you know, right? Winning a gold medal is was eight years on the national team, you know, and lots of hard work, um, a lot of sweat, a lot of grinding, you know, a lot of frustrations and development. Um, but my favorite thing about that is just the, the learning experience, the life experience of traveling, going to different countries, taking away stereotypes and meeting people um, and making a ton of friends, you know, I mean, so many friends uh, and some of them are here today and some didn't make it, which I wish I could have seen, but yeah, I mean, it was, it's all about, I guess, like they said, you know, it's like a family. Yeah. <laughs> no throwing under the bus, you know, we can't throw them under the bus, but I have many special teammates, but uh, two come to mind, Lloyd Ball and Tom Hoff. Um, I, I, as you know, I played with Lloyd, and he was basically my setter throughout my whole career. Um, he and Tom are like brothers to me, and uh, we got along real well, and they're like my, maybe, maybe my bigger brothers. Yeah. Uh, no, no regrets, no, no regrets, you know? I mean, we competed, you know, against, you know, so many different teams, and, and um, there was no animosity or no anger toward anybody. It was just competing and wanting to win and having that battle across the net, you know. And, and to me, that was the thrill, you know, the excitement of playing volleyball. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, awards was never something I, I sought, you know. For me, I just wanted to be the best in my head. I was like, I should be the best, I, and I'm going to try to be the best. And, and, and that's how I took practice and games and, uh, and winning. Um, and, you know, I mean, I would never have thought that this would have happened. And I, I kind of tried to hide and not be involved <laughs> just because I don't like these big events. But, um, no, it's a great honor. This is, this is truly a great honor. And to share that with two of my family members and the rest of my friends, you know, that are teammates or ex-teammates or people I played against is truly amazing. Basic words of wisdom would be just like how Todd was saying, you know, go after your dreams because you only get one shot, you know, and I realized that in college. Um, most people probably would rather see you graduate and get that education and things like that, but I had a bigger dream and my dream was playing volleyball and, and when I had that opportunity, I took it. I said, I need to go, I need to get better. And that's my, I guess, advice to others. And, and if you're gonna do it, go all in, go all in, yeah. Do some research, find out passion, you know, and find out what it takes to get good. Yeah. Thank you, fans, truly amazing. You know, I mean, without them, there's no this, no me. You know, I mean, we could 
play volleyball in a dark room, but it would be for nothing, you know, and it's the excitement, the cheering, you know, the ups and downs, the other team's fans booing you are all fire to help us get better, you know, and, and I truly thank them. When they mention my name, well, if they're mentioning them, they know what they're remembering, you know, and it's, it's not what I want them to remember, how I want them to remember me, it's how they remember me for meeting me, and that's how I want to take it. That's how I want to be remembered. Yeah.